four years of Smash 4. So we shall see what happens when these two duel on perhaps the final Smash 4 prominent tournament ever. Ever. Ever, man. I never thought those words would come out of my mouth until E3 happened. And then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's real. That's right. It's actually all coming to an end. Yes, sir. All right. All right, so here we go. Pikachu versus Peach. It's going to be a fun little, uh, little ground game. You know, Peach is going to try and play. Of course, Esam, though. One thing I really enjoy about Esam is this man. He don't shy away from getting all up in your grill, okay? No, he does not, man. He walks right up to the face of danger and stares it right in the eye. That was nasty, man. I know I know. Peach is just thinking, damn, Toe, you couldn't have showed up. Right. I needed some coverage. All right, now I need Mario's help. Telling you. Okay. But the great thing about Peach is that she packs a powerful punch, you know, despite how light and how dainty she act, she may come off as. Okay? But Esam, man, coming off very strong. Not exactly sure what the warm-up session was before, uh, for both of these two players, but, you know, Esam definitely looking loose right now. Mm. All right, man, definitely has that birthday buff. The birthday and then the engagement buff. That's all you need, man. You should have worn a birthday hat, actually, then. Oh, that would have been hype. That would have been OD. That definitely would have been hype. Come on, Esam. Cannon, man. You got to be cannon with these decisions. Bro. Cannon. Oh, okay. Speaking of decisions, my man, that was the one right on the money. That's right. He said, since we're KOing people up on platforms, man, let me show you a thing or two. Here's my crown. Got to have it. Okay. Since so we're playing this one safe now, playing the ledge game. Ooh. Smart man, because he knows that Eastham spends a lot of time off stage. With how floaty Peach is, it might make it that much harder for Eastham to get a hold of him. Absolutely. He is moving quick attacks, coming Ooh. through Thunder, just narrowly missing, but Eastham still finds himself in a very strong position, catches that landing. Right. Oh, okay. Just enough time to avoid. Perfect. Air Dodge tries to go for the drag down forward or into the up smash. He's going to get it this time. No, goes for the grab. Send Sam Sora flying. Not going to quite be enough, man. The DI of the gods. Yeah, keeping himself alive, but Lee Sam still in a very favorable position. Only 32% of me, Sam Sora. I mean, Sam Sora right now, the struggle for him just trying to touch the ground. Just remember what it feels like. That's right. Finally. But since you like the air, stay there. I'm telling you. 178%, though. This is still Sam Sora's time to shine, you know. Oh, Mary popping. Yeah. You see you. Mary got popped. That's right. That'll do it. Game number one going to East End. Really strong uh, opening for East End that really just kind of led him to that victory. Uh, taking the first stock off Sam Sora, only 2% on him mm -hmm. uh, when it was all said and done. Yeah, and it took Sam Sora kind of a while to get into the groove of things. I mean, he was about 50%, 60% before he ended up finding his KO on his final stock, so. Yeah. Um, I like to see Sam Store kind of get it together here. And no, no, at least we have more games to play. You know, before, you know, when it was best of three, I'm like, you know what? I mean, a game like that could certainly hurt you in the entirety of the set, but we got five of these bad boys to play. Yeah. Absolutely agreed. So here we are off the battlefield. Hey, backing it up on them. Choice I mean, we are well. in Atlanta, so. You already know, man. It goes down. They got a Drake concert all weekend, man. You know they oh, yeah. throwing it back in and out the game. Don't, don't throw even it in, question it, bro. Throw it in the circle. Man. Don't even question it. Okay. Turn it. Okay, whips a grab. A bit of an overextension there. A little uncharacteristic there from Esam, but ends up taking quite a bit of damage for uh, that minor. What could be looked at as a minor mistake, too. Ooh. You know, the great thing about Simsor is that he just really makes you pay. One whiff, and you're getting hit with, like, back air. You're getting hit with, like, forward air. I mean, he just, he really knows how to take one small instance and, you know, really get the most out of it. Definitely. Okay. Esam continuing his aggressive ways. Trying to find a way in. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam's okay. Like, patient. Waiting for the spot dodge. Was prepared to punish. Dead even game here. You know, I'd be a little afraid to fight Esam here. You know, that last game definitely should have been Sam Sora similar, but, you know, Esam just kind of felt like he wanted a little bit more. Here, though, you know, Pikachu's mobility just goes from, like, you know, 10 to, like, 20. You know, just in a matter of one stage pick. You know, he gets the platform canceled. He can move and groove here. Um, it could really make it hard for Sam Sword to pinpoint him. Oh, I think he actually might have been deceased there. Yeah, that's that's um, that's um questionable. I have to run that back and take another look at it. But it is arguable that, you know, he might not have made it back. Might have snapped it. Not sure. ECM not leaving it up to chance. Still fully confident that he can just go ahead and get the job done himself, man. No need to leave anything to chance. That's right. 170% here online for Sam Sword. He's saying moving and grooving on these platforms like I talked about. Tries to back that thing up and actually pays for it. Man, you know when the, you backing it up and the lights come on in the club, you like, man, I didn't know, I didn't know who I was dancing with. Oh my gosh, my pastor. Wait, what's he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> There's all kinds of questions, folks. We don't know what's going on. All right. <laughs> Only thing I know right now is he's sitting with a, a pretty decent lead on Sam Sword. We'll see if he's able to maintain it. Mm -hmm. And it's what Sam Sword's counterpick. 
the name of the game here is sustainability, man. Let's see how long he can try to hold on to this lead. Esam, you know, just one of the most electrifying players here in Smash, no pun intended. You know, he knows how to hold on to a lead, but Sam Sora definitely knows how to make one even. And with that in mind, we got an even game here. Now that looks about right, you know. Oh, okay, going deep. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, my goodness. I like the extra coverage with the Thunder. Wise decision from Esam. Esam is playing like a madman right now. He said, this is definitely my game to win. Great thing about Sam Sora is that he's like one of the few players who never lets his emotions get to him. Not to say like Esam does, but it just really feels like he has nerves to steal. I don't, I don't know how he does it at this level. You know, if I was in Sam Sora's shoes playing somebody like Esam, I'd be all over the place right now. You know? I guess black, black don't crack, man. I mean, that's what it comes down to, man. I mean, you got, at this point, man, you know, we talk about Esam being the veteran, but, you know, Sam Sora is plenty seasoned as well. Mm -hmm. you know, he's had those, those performances that just make you kind of think, like, man, this, this kid is definitely somebody special, and he certainly is. Mm -hmm. uh, Esam's just been that one of those old guards who just stood the test of time. But I'm telling you what, man, Sam Sora, he's scrappy. He knows he can win. He's very oh. confident. Uh, Esam just narrowly missing that follow-up. Would love to get that grab, but still find himself in an excellent position. That's right. And it's really interesting to see, like, what type of Esam we get. You know, sometimes we get, like, the heavy offstage gameplay Esam. Sometimes we get the you know, super aggro Esam. Sometimes we get the patient Esam where he's looking for, like, the jab lock setup, something reminiscent of, like, doubles. Um, obviously, you know, that last option I just spoke of, he's probably not going to get too much of that here on Sam Sora just because of Peach's weight. So with that being said, we're going to get the more explosive Esam, and that's exactly what's going down here. 136% online, looking to put the final nail into this coffin, but Sam Sora let him know that if I'm going down, I'm going down swinging, player. That he is 148 for Sam Sora. To be honest, I mean, Peach with Rage, that's a very scary thing. We know how hard... He, uh, excuse me, Peach is capable of hitting. Yeah. That's something ECM needs to be readily, of, you know, prepared for. My man's thinking about it, though. He's like, I'm not giving you nothing for free, bro. Please do not. Can't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Floating on the ledge, tries to back it up, and wow, just after one with the back air. I'll accept that as a kill move. I didn't, I didn't, I'll accept that. So he kind of, he kind of had me a little shook when the up air killed. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right, man. Right, we take What's those. What's your percent up. really looking like? All right, 2-0 lead right now for Sam Sora. Or excuse me, Esam looking to put this one away. Sam Sora, can you rebound? Can you recover? Let's find out. We got let's, game three. Let's see, man. Let's see how much fight he has left in him. We're running it back to um, Battlefield. I wonder what... I wonder what, what the Peach dynamic is here on Battlefield. I know, obviously, what uh, what Pikachu gets. Uh, but maybe, you know, there's something in my... Well, I guess it could be survivability. It could certainly be survivability here for Peach. Yeah, he took that... I mean, you remember on that, that final stock game number two, he definitely took that stock. Uh, it was at, like, 148 after the hit and survived. So you already know, like, you know, plenty of equity as far as surviving goes. Mm -hmm. And just the fact that I know Sam Sora in general has just always been a fan of this stage and is comfortable on it. So the thing about it is, though, you know, for Esam, it's just like, as you said, as you alluded to, those cancels, you know what I'm saying? Those movement options increased. He's not going to have any problem fighting here either. Oh, absolutely not. But this time, though, we've got a relatively closer match. You know, the um, last few ones that we've gotten out of these two, they've been just a very explosive opening and a, with a nail-biting finish. But, you know, this time, though, they're keeping it neck and neck here. Ooh. Oh, that up smash could have been disastrous. He's saying, though, not getting hit with it. That chase, one point. Thunder as well. And now, once again, finds himself with stage control. See how far he can push it. Okay. They've sent each other flying here. We got ourselves a bit of a, a DBZ moment, but Esam certainly playing the ground as lava here with Sam Sora, which is something that you don't typically hear. You know, typically you see Sam Sora, he has no issue getting his feet back onto the ground there, but uh, sent back up into the air once more. But this time, with the idea in mind, he's about to lose his stock. Yeah, just kind of got dragged to the ground and then sent immediately back up. Esam wasn't playing with him on that. Bear up smash connection. Now one stock away from completing this 3-0. That would be the second 3-0 we've seen here in our top 16. Yeah. If he is able to complete it, of course, you never count out Sam Sora. This man is very capable of just, just stunning his opponents. I've seen a lot of times, like, if you're trailing a, a mountain, you're just like, oh, man, this one's all but wrapped up. And it's just oh, like that. The snipe. You know, ha la la on the, you know, the windscreen. You know what I'm saying? There like, it is, man. It's crazy, bro. It's, it's the, at the blink of an eye, I'm telling you. Don't sleep. Wake you up quick. That's right. Okay. Avoiding Esam at all costs. I like this. You know, I kind of talked about that at the beginning of the. Oh, oh yeah, we tacked those. Oh, oh wow. And there, you know, that time he tried to go for wow. what looked to be a back throw. Okay. Like what he went for there though. Goes for the forward air. This time bringing us a little bit closer. Esam trying to poke away at him though. Not quite seeing as uh, many strings as we've seen once before. I think he knows that Sam Sword might be trying to figure things out. Got to switch it up. 
just a tad. I mean, Isam, you know, he's one of those guys, like, I think doesn't tend to let leads go when he's able to get sizable ones. Sam Sora is clawing his way back in. Okay, keeping him at bay like the Bears. Another one. That will also pan out. Okay. Another backer slowly chipping his way back into this. Isam, uh... I mean, he knows how to, like I talked about earlier, you know, he gets that one hit, he turns it into many hits, and, you know, Sam Sword is really struggling to stop the bleeding. There's the down special. Not quite enough that time. And I, okay, I'm starting to see why, um, you know, Sam Sword likes the stage. I think he knows that, you know, he's going to get hit with some of these throw setups. You know, he just wants to make sure he has enough stage, you know, to try to recover. Yeah, I feel you. Ooh, okay, immediate turnaround, up smash, and that'll wrap it up a 3-0. For Isam, really powerful performance. Happy birthday to that individual just qualified itself a spot in the